are you doing video yet? How's it going everyone? Today we're going to talk about TikTok versus Instagram Reels and what it means to your business. This is not a tutorial. There's plenty of those out there that will show you how to cut TikTok videos. I want to talk about this from a business perspective and give you some information that may help you make decisions about whether you want to be there or on one or the other or both. They are video platforms that give tools to us to edit videos, music, content, text. They're fun, okay? They're just really fun. They have a beat to them. They're upbeat. There's a lot of music. And Instagram Reels kind of copies that. They're fun too. Fundamentally, what these platforms are doing is video. So if you haven't gotten into video yet, this is the time. I cannot stress enough. Are you doing video yet? Because if you're producing other kinds of video, you can cut them for the TikTok and Instagram format. This is why I don't want to go through a tutorial of how to use them because you can actually edit the videos off platform and then just upload them there. There's other things that factor in that I want you to know, and I'm going to read you from a few studies because I don't want to scrub the numbers, but a study from Influencer Marketing Hub shows that TikTok far surpasses Instagram Reels in terms of engagement, 7.7% for TikTok and 3.8% for Reels. Pretty big difference. And the Influencer Marketing Factory confirms this. Their data found that while average views were higher for Reels, engagement indicators such as likes and comments are about three times higher than on Reels. Those are huge numbers. Technical details aside, we got to start focusing on content. What stories do we want to tell? What do we want to be engaged in? Um, how do I make it upbeat and fun and interesting and practical? How do I tap into trends? Then this concept of engagement, this data is telling us that TikTok is very engaging. That tells us that there's that community effect that you may want to be a part of because within communities, it's a lot easier to become memorable. And while the TikTok platform doesn't have as far of a reach as Instagram, that engagement probably makes up for a lot of that lack of reach. Now, of course, you have to take audiences into consideration. Your audiences may not yet be on TikTok, but you should also consider the fact that a lot of the TikTok content makes it onto Instagram, Twitter, and other platforms. So it's worth at least exploring what's there. Plus, another advantage of TikTok over Reels is that it gives you analytics and that will help you very quickly determine what's working and what's not working. And in fact, TikTok content creators, you know, this is a gamification factor for them. They are very quick to react to what they're seeing in their data and adjust their content. And that's how they create new trends or help grow trends. So at a minimum, you could be a lurker on there. You know, Nike, for example, they don't even really post original content. There's so much content being posted about them that they just reshare it and reinforce that sense of community. In fact, their account is private and which gives it a sense of exclusivity and again, community. Other ways to use TikTok is to not even have an account there, but just work with influencers, you know, have hashtag challenges, cover your products and so on. So those are some of the things to consider. Well, the key one is make videos and keep trying things, be brave. And I'm sure I'm going to make more videos on this topic because I get a lot of questions about it. So drop yours in the comments or DM them to me at Manamika, M-A-N-A-M-I-C-A on Instagram. And I will see you back here next time.